it seems as if though based on what they have been told that the management is unable to, to afford the repairs for the schools. And um, you know, these teachers sought the media as a means of helping them to get you know, what they're going through out there and to see if they can get assistance. And by going to the media, it wasn't appreciated by some members in the management um, 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 positions. And so these teachers were, based on what we were told, they were chastised for going to the media to put their, their um, issues out there. Now, I'm being told that the management locally will be giving them $3,000. They've not gotten anything yet from the general management. They've, they've requested, but it seems as though they don't have the funds, and we're not sure if the ministry is going to be assisting them any at all. And so if you understand what these people are going through, what our teachers and students are going through, they have to remove everybody from that building and then cram them in the other buildings. And if you saw the flooring of the other buildings, you will see that it is not safe. This is not the only school that has bat infestation down south. We went to Bella Vista, had the same thing. Uh, we heard about teachers further south who have the same issues. They have to be going to school every day, cleaning rat bat mess every day. You know, it's, it, it's lumped in the classroom. So it's a health hazard. So I don't know how it is that we can get to the point where these schools can be properly repaired, that these students and teachers don't have to go through these issues. But it seems as if though finance is an issue. And so I am hoping that the management and the ministry can work something out that they can be able to assist because it is not the teacher's responsibility to be finding the funds to be fixing these buildings. They don't own these schools. They only work in these schools. The managements own these schools.